I made everything invisible in Resident Evil 2 Remake, and it was frustrating. Four years after releasing, RE2 Remake is still a very charming game, with lots of ways to experience the events of Raccoon City. With two different playable characters, each with two different scenarios and multiple difficulty modes with incrementally challenging mechanics, the replay value of this game is insane. But if you've been following me for a while, you'll probably know that I have spent over 1800 hours in this game. So needless to say, I had to come up with something outside the bounds of what the game offers, considering that I've done well beyond everything there is to do in this game. So naturally, I came up with the brilliant idea to make all the enemies in this game invisible. Interestingly enough, the remake of the original Resident Evil has this feature, so I was a little disappointed that this game mode was not included in the remake of RE2, as it does present quite the challenge even if you know where all the enemies are supposed supposed to be. But nonetheless, thanks to Razer's Ultimate RE2 Trainer, this game mode is now a reality. Simply install the trainer, turn on invisible enemies, and have fun. But beware, because once you reach the lab, you'll have to keep turning the mod on and off every time you go into a new room, otherwise the game will crash. And if you're on hardcore mode like I was during this challenge, you'll have to reload to your last save, which gets to be pretty annoying, hence why this run was frustrating as all hell. But if you want to make all those troubles go away, be sure to wash it all down with some G Fuel, the sponsor of today's video. G Fuel is here to give you the energy you need to clutch up and deal with some of gaming's most troubling challenges. And whether you're square off against Mr. X or running away from a liquor, G Fuel will keep the T-Virus at bay and help you escape Raccoon City. And with only 15 calories per serving and zero sugar, you can be sure that you're getting all of that energy without the empty calories or the crash. You can even check out the Resident Evil 4 inspired Las Plagas flavor, which features our good pal Leon. So head on over to gfuel.com and don't forget to use code HAZE for up to 30% off at checkout. Thanks again to G Fuel for sponsoring this video. Will I be able to escape Raccoon City infested with the invisible strain of the T-Virus? Stick around and let's find out. As fun as it's been, I'm actually not going to use the Noir filter because I feel like this challenge is already annoying enough that the enemies are invisible. I don't think our good friends over at YouTube are going to appreciate the entire edited version of this video being in black and white. <laughs> this is out of control. You hear that chat? It's out of control. Jesus! They're everywhere! <laughs> All right, good start, good start. All right, let's get that knife. This is not how I imagined my first day. This is not how I imagined my first day, chat. I'm gonna grab this ammo, but I don't plan on keeping it. Like, long term. That was close. It was a little close. What the hell? What the hell was that? That was a little close for comfort. Scary stuff. Not happy that I had to use that health there, but you know. Such is life, such is life. Oh boy. Close call, man. Close call. I'm surrounded, surrounded by, by zombies. Zomb I figure the, the best possible situation here... Well, that's not the best possible situation. Darn. They sound so close. It's so scary. Hope for good RNG here. Darn. It's all right. We got health. We got health. I have, a, I have a few concerns for later, but this is not an impossible situation, in my opinion. I'm probably gonna get grabbed. Oh, that was so close.
Huh. It's always close, chat. It's always close. I think... My best bet is probably to just use one of the heals. Good. Oh. Dude, it, they they sound so close. And you know what? It's funny. They, they sound close because they are close. I'm going off of like very vague memory of where I think stuff is. Bullshit. Not going for an S rank here, y'all. Or S plus. Whatever the hell, you know. Invisible enemies, guys. So fun. Ow. Get him. Nice! We got him! He was invisible, but we got him. This is pretty good because, you know, we'll be able to loot the, the boss area here, which has quite a bit of good stuff. This is actually the first time I've ever attempted invisible enemies in this. Invisible prison. Yeah, that's gonna... Invisible prison is definitely gonna be a little, uh... Little interesting, I think. I think RPD2 will be decently chill as long as we don't run into like crazy problems with Mr. X. I think we'll be all right. Like I, I know I'm probably not going to need the shoddy, but I'd rather have it just in case. At least I can crowd control a little bit. But I don't think I'm really going to be able to depend too much on like trying to get critical headshots and whatnot. I mean, it could happen, but I'm not super optimistic on that. Yo, chat, I heard the dogs are free. Oh no! This is a bad idea. I don't like this. Oh, he's on the floor, I think. There we go. Not how I really wanted that to go, but uh, what are you going to do, right? I, I really do need this section clear, though, because th th there's just way too much potential for things to go south. You want to go up this way. There shouldn't be any enemies up here, but Mr. X is going to be showing up soon, so we got to be ready. What the? I don't want any surprises. I don't like this. I don't like it at all. I don't like it at all, chat. I don't even know where she is now. Gotta make it interesting somehow, right? Alright, who, who's ready for Mr. X? Jesus Christ! Uh oh. Alright, I believe the best path for Leon. This way? Oh! Yikes! That's right, you do have to go down the other way. Well, that's not good. Yeah. I messed up, chat. 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh, chat. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Maybe not. I have health. I have health in here. Probably... Grab the uh, little defensive boost situation here. We are just hoping that we don't have a very, very bad day in here. Okay, not bad. We're doing it. Nice. Nice. Oh, I don't have the... I'm so stupid. We can kind of start this sort. No, never mind. No, we can't. Darn. All right, this is fine. Kind of sucks, but I completely forgot about this freaking gear. Ah, oh, forgot about him too. I didn't bring any more health with me, did I? Oh, I have one. I don't like this. Uh, we have options. We have options. I'm gonna run around this way and try to put my uh, some distance between myself and Mr. X. Because uh, obviously I cannot see him. Okay. That was actually like a fairly decent save. It sucks that all these enemies are active now, but not much we really could do. I tried to see if I could somehow make that work, but I don't have any more health, so I gotta be careful through here. Can't do dumb stuff like that. I'm not feeling optimistic here. Definitely not feeling optimistic. I should have grabbed more health, but I think we're just gonna have to deal with it. If this really goes poorly, I can take a different path. Okay. Man. Oh. Yeah, that's over. They were both there. Arn. Dragon. Oh, dude. So messed up. Alright, RPD 2, not looking too bad, Chief. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yeah! This one I mean, is like super hardcore. Pretty challenging. This is pretty challenging. Give me a break. No! <laughs> Oh, he's being mean. Oh, he's being super fucking mean, dude. What a cringe lord. Well, I had the flash, but if you just use the flash, he like does like a thing where he like covers his face and just starts like punching. You don't want to do that. All right, we're going to the end game, chat. Oh, they don't make the gator invisible? Darn. Get him. Get him, dude. Chew on that, you overgrown son of a bitch. Chew on that. Any tips for streaming? Uh, not really. <laughs> Find harmony between what you love to do and what you want. To, what people want to watch you do. All right, I don't think I'm gonna need to save for the Ada part here. Oh. Damn it. I don't need to save with Ada. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. This sucks. This is so bad. I'm dead. I'm super dead. I completely forgot that you have to change the thing from one side to the other in that spot. Well, I'm glad I saved. The reason I saved was because I actually forgot the inputs for the, the sewer gator. 
And uh, I wanted to make sure that in case I did, I didn't have to go all the way back to RPG2 again. Right, at least I made it through this time. It's gonna suck because there's not gonna be much I can do here. At least I only got knocked into caution that time. I do not remember the sequence for this room right here. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. It was close. Should be good. What the nice. Hell? I will save again. That actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, so take it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Go for us. All right, whatever. <laughs> this is so toxic. God damn it. Alright, sure. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. I am a little nervous for, uh... G2, though. This fight's gonna be fucking toxic, by the way. Yeah, this is gonna be a little toxic, I think. Probably okay here. Uh -oh. Okay, now he's just trolling. Oh no. Rip. Now I got you. I'm super bad with this guy. Darn. We're so close, though. We should be able to get this. I think we got it this time. Oh, stop it. He's just literally chain swiping me based on my position. What a fucking troll, man. He's in, like, that god spot where, like, he hits you and you end up behind him so he can do, like, a like really fast, like, back swiping attack. Dude. Damn it. Let's do this. Come on. Don't be mean. Don't be mean. Thank God. This is so bad though. This is so bad. Yo, we are in mega danger. Yo, we're both look at us. Cable both Carl, take us down to nest. Both of us in mega danger, dude. Jesus. There, there's quite a bit of health in the nest anyway, so we should be alright, I think. Mr. X is going to be a pain for the final boss, though. Hold the lever, Kronk. Gosh, this is so painful. Going to be doing the hobble. The good news is that we're not really struggling for... Wow. That's unfortunate. I haven't had a game crash in a long time. Oh, we just got to do G2 again. It's not a big deal. Unfortunate, though, because I was literally just getting ready to save. All right, give us an opportunity to do this a little better this time. I'd like to not be in danger. All right, let's try it again. Stop it. Uh-oh. No! Damn it. Not cool, man. This is, like, why I was kind of okay with just, like... 
continuing the run while I was in danger. God, he's such a troll. Fuck. Then I can use. The Stop. Jeez. I can't do anything, man. Fuck, dude. I might get him here. Jesus. All right, please no crash. I may, I may save uh, a little earlier. How is this possible? Uh, you know, just is. To be fair, I have like 2,000 hours in this game, so I know my way around a little bit. I'll save in this slot just in case I am not looking forward to this part where Mr. Guy is going to decide to do whatever he's going to do. Mr. Guy. Can, that knife is just an extra anyway, so... I, I fucked up. I, I should not have... I, I completely forgot that you have to combine the wristband. I don't know why I overlooked that, but I did. Oh, boy. And my game crashed again. Ooh. You know, it's funny. The game has run perfectly fine. Up until the labs. At least I saved, though. Hobbling around in danger for the next little while, you know? Good stuff. Your presence is urgently requested by Chief Cartwright. Oh! Alright, here, here's what I'll do. I'll, I'll make a save after this section, and I'll turn the mod off and see if it lets me go through. Oh, come on. That's unfortunate. Try it again. Oh, yeah, that's right. My game crashes whenever I die here, so that's cool. Love it. All right, let me try, let me try this. So let me... Let me see what happens if I, like, turn off the mod. Would you look at that? It works just fine. I am worried as to what's going to happen when uh, I turn it back on. Well, we are about to find out. Seems like it's working. It'll probably crash again as soon as I open this door. What did I tell you? I don't think that the invisible enemies thing is going to work with the IVs. Here's what I can try. Pretend invisible enemies. See? See, chat? Look, you can't see him. Look, see? You didn't even see him, chat. See? Tempted to see if it'll let me do this part, invisible enemies, without crashing. Probably not. So, so guess what, chat? Look, you can't even see him. You can't even see him. See, look. See, look. Can't even see him. Look, can't even see him, chat. Oh, well, okay. Rip. <laughs> well, it sucks that this is, like, crashing in the labs. I can probably still do G3 invisible. And I can probably do Mr. X invisible. Yeah, I'm not really sure what we'll do here. Nope, you can't see him, chat. Look, see? They're not even here. Out of curiosity, if I pull it up now and turn it on, does it crash my game? Seems okay. It's literally any time I open a fucking door. Okay, I can put it on a hotkey. I have an idea. Why is the game crashing? It's an instability with the trainer using the invisible enemies thing. Did I just launch RE4 by accident? I think I just launched RE4. Oops, wrong game. All right, let's try this. Very unorthodox, but it should work. So I can like toggle invisible enemies on and off with the hotkey so that I'm not like going through doors with it turned on. I'll just have to turn it on basically anytime I enter a room with invisible enemies in it. And I'll have to turn it off as I'm, like, exiting the room. Seemed like that was okay. Alright, we need to turn it off for a second. While we're going through these doors. 
You're not even going to see the enemies in here right away anyway. Turn it back on when I'm going through the corridor. Because I don't want to accidentally mess anything up. Ah! It didn't matter. Turn. Ah, fuck, I forgot to turn it off again. Damn it! Oh, this is so, this is actually stupidly annoying. Literally every time I touch a door, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna look away from the enemies. And in the particular spots where it actually matters, I will make sure to toggle it accordingly. Like most of these rooms, it honestly doesn't even matter that the enemies are invisible because I'm just like brute forcing my way through anyway. Like we're kind of at the point in the run where it doesn't really matter. Like once we get past lab lickers, it literally won't matter. You can just do the boss fights invisible. Like see, you don't see anything. You don't see anything. There's no, all these enemies are invisible chat. <laughs> They're all invisible. No. That's not what I meant to do. That's not good. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. Ah! <laughs> So close! Well, we get to go do it again, chat. We get to go do it again. Oh, come on. Ah, dude! Oh, I keep forgetting, man. Alright, yeah, I'm like about to stop doing this. I'm getting like really frustrated with this fucking mod crashing. Good. No! I'm going to try. Ah, no! Not again. <laughs> All right, let's do this bullshit. Where we left off yesterday, we were in very danger, and hopefully, uh, hopefully I will not be stupid about the freaking toggling of the invisible enemies thing. Are they all dead? I think they're all dead. They, they become, they become uninvisible when they die, so that's a good sign. How the hell? Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, let me reload the save. I was not expecting this dude to be on the other side of the door. I was gonna turn the invisible enemies mod back on. All right, maybe this works. Let me try. All right, it's back on. There we go. Okay. I think we're all right for now. All right, it's, it's literally right next to me. No, I forgot to do it again, dude. Come on, man. Every time I go through that door, I forget to fucking... <laughs> Trying it again here. This started out as, oh, let's do a randomizer, and then that didn't work, so now we, we're doing this, and this barely works, so, you know, it's fine. All right, I'm not gonna forget, chat. Not gonna forget. Beautiful. Beautiful. We did it. This is not good. This is not good at all. I have no health. I'm in danger. I'm pretty sure I'm just dead. Come on. Be nice. Be nice. Thank God. Okay. I think I can... Okay, he's... He's... All right, he's invisible. See, he's fine. I didn't want the game to crash in the event that I went up the ladder and that happened, so... 
Seems like this, like, general area is okay. Being in danger really sucks here. Oh, God! Wait, why is he not... Why is he not invisible? Okay, well... Mr. X is not invisible for some reason. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. The good news is that we're done with that section. Bad news is we are, um... We're very, we're in very danger right now. We have no heals. <laughs> this is brutal. All right, so we do have some good news amidst uh, quite a bit of bad news. So the good news is that we actually are looking pretty good on like we like weapons and ammo situation. That's actually pretty, pretty solid with where we're at right now. All right, there just two bosses, okay? Two bosses stand between us and victory, okay? A handful of zombies on the way out, but nothing nothing we can't handle. I'm I'm not even worried about that part though. I'm worried about the uh worried about the part where we're probably dead because we're in danger and I have no health. We definitely need to be careful. Hello? Does he stay? Does he go invisible? Hello? Oh, 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 that's why Mr. X wasn't invisible. I forgot to check the box. That would have been good. That would have been good to know. It's fine. It's not a big deal. I fully expected my game to crash right there. Uh, this is not going to be good. Like, I'm already in danger, dude. I'm so dead. <laughs> this is uh this is going to be a little tricky without the flamethrower, y'all. This is going to be a little tricky. Come on, buddy. <laughs> yeah, this is not good. Dude, those swipes, I have no idea where they are. This is actually really good right here. He's in phase three. Yes, we got him. Let's go, dude. Sorry, I gotta keep the, the volume down. My kids are sleeping, but holy shit, I can't believe we got him. Dude, I couldn't see shit that whole time, but we get, we, we got him. No idea how I'm gonna fare against Mr. X, but... <laughs> right? The high octane. The high octane fucking escape soundtrack chat. Ah, forgot all about this one. Go! Go! All right. All right. It's happening. We're doing it. Isn't there a typewriter? Oh, is there not a typewriter down here? Oh. Oops. I thought there was a typewriter down here. Oh, that. well, that sucks ass, man. Well, let's hope we don't die. All right, at least we can kind of see him. All right, at least, at least we can kind of see him because of the fucking fireball situation. Oh, come on, dude. All right, okay, so I can see the arm. I can see the arm, that's the important thing. Oh no. Oh, damn it. That's unfortunate. Yeah, for some reason I thought I don't know why I thought that, but I, for some reason I thought that we could save down there, but I guess not. Nice. Dude, the fire effect is so nice. It's the one saving grace I get in this fight, chat. Uh oh. Not good.
Oh no. Shit. Is he dead? Jesus Christ. But I need a duty. Get him. Yo, GG's chat. GG's. We, we did it. That was, uh. It was a little toxic at the end there, but I'm glad that we were able to leverage the fire effect to to get the kill on Mr. X. I was a little worried there. This was uh honestly not too bad, but it got really dead. Honestly, if it wasn't for the fact that I kept crashing like over and over, if it wasn't for that, this wouldn't have been that bad. Let's see what our uh, let's see what our playtime was. Two hours, six minutes. We still got an S rank. It wasn't S plus, but you know. We did all right for ourselves, chat. Despite the fact that we couldn't see anything. Yeah, honestly, if it wasn't for the, the mod, like, crashing the game constantly, we probably would have made pretty quick work of the lab. But the important thing is that we made it, chat. We made it. We did it. It was a fun little challenge, though.